Now, uh, let's come to the big story in that sense, uh, mark macros uh, and uh, markets, important for both. Inflation numbers for the month of April here in India has dropped to a 19-month low of 4.7%. The industrial output uh, index, IIP for March, though, has uh, come off to 1.1%. The poll was almost at about 4% or so. Does this remove any fears of any further rate hikes from the RBI? Lata is here in the studios with her editor's take. Lata, good morning. Yes, absolutely. The April inflation is a very positive number for MPC, Reserve Bank, for the economy itself, 4.7%. Uh, our poll was 4.8. There were a lot of 4.9s also on the street. So this uh, is a, is much lower than what, uh, or reasonably lower than what the street had factored in. Plus, uh, yeah, the food inflation worry is gone. If you remember, there were fears that unseasonal rains and uh, the uh, uh, problems in February in terms of weather could have destroyed the wheat crop a bit. It looks like procurement is very good because cereal prices month on month have fallen. April is lower than March. And therefore, there is a, a definite uh, expectation that inflation will come lower than even the Reserve Bank's April, May, June forecast, which stands at 5.1. With 4.7 in April, looks like even the uh, this forecast uh, could be surprised to the downside. And therefore, the expectations that uh, RBI, which announced the pause on... Uh, 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 April 8th, the previous policy, that pauses for good. Uh, there is no reason why it will revisit or another hike will come. But actually, the Reserve Bank's worry for inflation could turn out, uh, could be replaced by a worry on growth if you look at the IIP shocker. Coming, comes down to 1.1 and 1.1 is bad because there were several actually 5% on the street. It was this one-off numbers which made our average to 4% on the poll. But 1.1 is quite a shocker. And the, if you look at the April-February average, it is 5.6. And terrible uh, performance in power, minus 1.6. Consumer durables, minus 8.4. Consumer non-durables, minus 3.1. I mean, this is a contraction from year ago levels. And if electricity also drops, the fear is that even industry probably consumed less other than uh, consumers as well. So this is going to be a fear. Impact on the market now. I think on Friday when we closed below the 7% mark, this poor CP or this low CPI number was already in the price. We have to be a little aware of why the yields are falling. It was the extraordinary buying by insurance companies because of the tax change after March 31st. That led to a lot of collections. Uh, we saw it in all the insurance companies. That's why there's so much of bond buying. And of course, HDFC Bank buying ahead of the merger. It is unlikely that this will continue. Uh, to factor in because of this CPI number or because of the yield falling, that there will be a CRR cut or a repo cut should be simply out of the market's mind. The RBI doesn't hint that at all. And I'm telling you why CRR is a liquidity tool. If you cut it, there will be more liquidity in the banking system. The amount, the FX reserves have gone up by $7 billion in the previous week, ended May 8th. That number we got on Friday. You know, what is $7.1 billion? It is over 56,000 crores that has come in by way of liquidity. And in the week just ended, my guess is, I mean, RBI sources tell me, another equal amount has come in. So why would you do a CRR cut when so much liquidity is being pushed in by the Reserve Bank simply by buying dollars? They don't want the rupee to appreciate. Therefore, my sense is that uh, talking about cuts, repo or CRR, is extremely premature at this juncture. All right, uh, Lada, thank you very much for that. You know, by the way, the IIP data is for the month of March, right? Yes. So we have lots of high-frequency data points for the month of April. I put out a piece on the 5th, which is the Friday before last, yeah. and I looked at, I mean, you mentioned electricity demand. So power demand for April, we have that. You know, the slowdown is there, but it's softened. I mean, yeah. it's lesser. You know, the PMI uh, data is what everyone is pinning on we, uh, for uh, uh, improvement. So manufacturing PMI is improved April over March. Services PMI is improved April over March. No, no, so, I, let me tell you, services PMI is a 13-year high. Yeah. Composite PMI is saying. a 13-year I mean, so, high, but wait, it has no connection with GDP. PMI is your mood. It is a yes or a no answer. Correct. It doesn't measure the intensity of the yes. Mm. No, my, so that is not well taken. My, my only point is that this rate cut, I uh. think that may be a little uh, premature. Yeah. Uh, that's the point I'm making. That no. it's, you know, the data is not looking despondent if you look at uh, no, April, absolutely the month Absolutely well April. taken, your data. Yeah. But you, you also, in the editor's uh, roundtable, and uh, I, I don't know, I, I think it was you, you said the earnings are not great. 
earnings are not the good. master earnings. <laughs> yeah. So let us be very clear that growth is becoming a scare. Of course, of course. And yeah. therefore, that is why, why these rate cut expectations are coming in, that yeah. inflation fear. But my sense is the RBI target is 4%. So at 4.7, they are not coming, uh, going to cut. And moreover, in May and June, inflation is expected to be higher, going back. That's why the RBI's average for April, May, June is 5.1. So mm -hmm. we're going to get a higher number. All right, uh, Lata, thanks very much for that. Uh, I mean, this is a debate which uh, on growth and inflation, <laughs> which we can uh, continue having. And we will continue having. It's an important one. Uh,